We're in Katoomba in the beautiful Blue Mountains, where Donna Markle has worked hard to achieve the perfect work-life balance. Her business has been so successful, she's ready to start selling her products internationally. But before she does, she's keen to get some advice on how to ensure the business's operations stay aligned with her holistic approach to life. So Donna, can you just tell me a little bit about what your business does? Our company is called Centrica, and under that we have two brands. Uh, our main brand is Dermatonics, which is a skincare range. Uh, it is a natural Australian skincare range that's exclu exclusive to skin clinics and spas. And the other brand is Relieva Med, which is a muscle and joint rub and also massage oils associated with it. We've been in business for just over three years. Um, we launched our first products in early 2016, um, and then that was our Dermatonics range. And then Relieva Med was launched in 2017. Uh, so we've been going for just about a couple of years, but it's only within the last 12 months that we've really been picking up some steam with both of our brands. Were these products born out of something that was happening for yourself in your own life, or where, where did the idea come from? So the company is both mine and my husband's. We're the co founders and we are both scientists so my husband is a biomedical engineer and I'm a biochemist um, my area of focus was always inflammation and my husband uh, wound healing tissue regeneration so we've used that knowledge and some of the natural actives that are in our products to develop a skincare range and a muscle and joint rub so we were very passionate about using natural actives that had scientific backing in them to create these products so I just love to hear from you right now what you think your main point of difference is to every other skincare range on the market. So one of the key aspects of us is that we pack our products with lots of actives that work in synergy, just like nature. And we also have a technology that's patented um, called Nutridermaceutical Technology that allows the actives to actually absorb well into the skin. So we're a natural skincare product, but what makes us different from some of the other ones is that we're clinic exclusive. I'm also interested in sort of the bigger brand story. So as an outsider, when I look at your business, I I see the fact that you are a family of scientists that has come up with a skincare range as actually being a really big point of difference. You aren't just from a big company. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I agree, especially the, the scientists back, because when we're talking with our clinics, that's the new ones that we bring on. That's one thing that really intrigues them. Um, yes, it's natural, yes, it's Australian, but they're really liking the fact that it's scientists that have developed the products. So there's some science behind it. So I hear that the products are amazing. I, I believe you that they are yeah. amazing. What I'm trying to help you do is without people trying the products, yeah. get them invested in, mm. in the story of what the products are. So I had a look at your websites, and at the moment you've got two main websites, one promoting Relieva Med, which is the joint rub, and one promoting Dermatonics, which is your skincare range. Yes. So I'm known for hard-hitting truth, <laughs> and so I'm here to deliver you some. Yeah. And when I look at your websites, what comes back to me is that Hopefully you'll agree with me that the skincare market is very competitive and it is also very saturated. Yes. So there is a lot of people jostling for a very small, uh, you know, product line market mm -hmm. sort of reach that they can get their product, especially internationally. Mm -hmm. And so when I looked at your websites, there are a few things that I would really love mm -hmm. to help you change before you go hitting a global market with mm -hmm. them. Donna Markle has spent the last few years creating the perfect work-life balance. Now that her life is in order, it's her business that needs a deep breath of holistic fresh air. So, Bo Kitty from Reality Check is here to help Donna's business resonate the values which drove her to set it up. So what does holistic business development actually mean? Basically, I approach business coaching from an angle that when you start your own business, you are crafting a business that fits in with your life and not the opposite way around. So people who have come from a nine to five employee mindset, that becomes their reality and their life fits in around it. With holistic business coaching, we look at not just the products that you're promoting and what you're doing, but what else is going on in your life. Do you have health issues? What's your family doing? Do you have other hobbies and pursuits? 
Do you need more time freed up? And we basically look at the business as a big picture rather than just a sort of ROI and what targets are we reaching and just crunching numbers. Even in the last 10 years, the nature of the way we do business has changed a lot. 10 years ago, you could almost create a formulaic business plan, follow it and have some moderate success. Now I think with uh, technology and the information age and the inquisitive nature of consumers, people are really doing their own research. Mm -hmm. And as a result, businesses have to be a lot more dynamic. They have to evolve very fast and they have to answer market needs. And so that's something that we want to look at, especially if you're going to hit a global market. So what does our business look like to you from a holistic point of view? I can tell straight from the start that you have worked really hard on this product. I can tell that there is a lot of background that's going to back up all of your claims because you are scientists. So I'm not worried about that part. But I do feel like there's a bit of personality missing. I feel like your websites are a little bit dry, a little bit corporate focused. Now you are a business to business. Mm -hmm. You're selling two clinics, so we definitely want to keep that stylistic, very clean look that people go for with skincare ranges as well. But I would love to see a bit more of, of you. So I would love to see, instead of stock photos on your website, I'd love to see photos of your surrounds, the Blue Mountains, maybe some of the ingredients. I'd actually really love to see you and your husband in the lab coats as well. But also, not just being the scientists, but being the family that you are running a family business. If, you know, there's absolutely no sharing of your personal life, you can still share your surrounds, you can share things about the products that are a yeah. bit less science and a bit more personable, yeah. um, but also you could entertain the idea of some brand ambassadors. Mm. So that's what I think would really help your product moving into an international market, is to find an Australian brand ambassador who has the look and the feel that you want your brand to emulate overseas. Yeah. And I think that that would be a really good way to start bringing a human nature into your products. So when it comes to social media, what platform do you think that we should be on for our business? I think that a lot of businesses get stuck in the idea that social media is for what I call selling and telling. Mm -hmm. So they just go, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm doing, here's what I'm doing. Whereas sometimes it's really good to take a step back from that and really just show the other things that you are doing that, that let people in on, on who you are and what your products are about. Mm -hmm. So behind organic range of skincare, there's obviously a life ethos that goes with that. And, and I think we'd love to hear a little bit more about that from you what other things make up that ethos. How do we get more time? How do we do all this? So I think you need to identify what those priorities are. And then there are ways to get a little bit of help with that time for not the outlay you might think. So I have a team of experts that I bring in just for their specific skills to do a specific job and I pay them for that. Mm -hmm. But I don't have them on my regular staff. The only tip that I would give you if you go to employ other people to come and do work for you is that they understand they resonate with what your brand is about and they're going to actually be their own little brand ambassadors for you just by working in your business. So there you have it. To ensure your business is hitting its holistic high note, make sure your business values are in line with your personal values. You share the backstory to your business in the about page on your website capitalise on your natural surroundings and way of life. And finally, use real images and posts which show customers the who behind the what.